Welcome, lovely Capricorns. How are you, sweethearts? Thank you so much for coming into the channel, coming back, supporting my work, giving me feedback, and connecting spiritually. It's a blessing to have you in my life. I have so many Capricorns. I just look after you because you're the solids here, and I appreciate that. You show us a lot about commitment. Um, I was watching something, reading something yesterday. Um, sometimes I go into these sites that are psychology, you know, or tests they've done, run tests or whatever. And they said most likely to cheat would be every other sign. Capricorn is least likely to cheat. So, you, you know, when you give it a Capricorn, it's my understanding, you better mean it. If you say yes, you better mean it. That's accountable before God because they're actually ruled by Saturn, which is a strict energy of achievement and earthy energy, you know. You, you know, good, they have good quality taste, Capricorns do, from my understanding. And they're very talented and spiritual, and I'm grateful for them. Um, one of my favorite Capricorns has her channel, and she's a spirit medium. Her name is Patience with Spirit. So if you would like to see, she seems to have the gift to be able to really pull through explanations for things that we want to know. I just watched her do Gabby Petito's story, and it's very, very, she's so very good. And I'm, I'm glad to have Capricorns that are so gifted. Well, welcome. I know you are, too. I hope you're doing well. The word says in James 4.10, Humble yourselves before the Lord, and he will lift you up. No need to keep trying to prove yourself to demons, right? Coming in, this is the miracle tone for Capricorn. I thank you for hitting the like button because this circulates the video. And then other Capricorns can see that. If there's something really good in here for September... I'm going to let you know. If there's something wonky, we're going to let you know. It may or may not be a reading. They're not gender specific. Take what you need and leave the rest. Please show some love. I'm going to start with your goddess energy. That's your receptive energy. Where's Capricorn at this time? Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's tap in to the collective. Thank you so much, guides. We pray for their blessing. The divine light within and without become manifest in our life right now. Protect and prepare us to act in sacred ways. Bring in all holy energy to support us today. Guinevere, true love is on the table. Either you're somebody's true love or this is the energy for September for you and it's really nice. You have inner wisdom from Athena. No doubt about that. You have to, when is wisdom will tell you when to act and when not to act, Capricorns. What else is showing up for the feminine energy for my Capis? You know what I think of Capricorn? You know what I think about? A mountain, a snow capped mountain, right? And it's big, it's big ass big, like bigger than a pyramid. And on the very top is what they call the cap, the capstone, the cap. So you're probably the capstone of humanity. Guiding children, having a sensitive heart, using your skills to help children. Very nice. My friend Vanessa is really good with children. She's a Capricorn. Hello, honey. I hope you hear this. And then, of course, I sold, which is undying love. I love the love you have shared is return, eternal regardless of the situation. What is the situation? Somebody's a medicine woman. They work with children. They have incredible wisdom. You, chan you are a channel for divine healing power. So many of you are actually, and some of you actually do have the heart of a child. You are, you are someone's true love, and you know that inner wisdom tells you when to act and when not to act um, on this great love that you guys are having in September. Pretty darn nice. Give me a master love message. Soulmate, your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically, whether they're here or not, right? So spirit, show me the background energy of what's going down for um, 
for my beautiful Capricorns in September 2024. Tapping in. What's the background energy? Why do they have to humble themselves before God? Because they're going through a change. You're going through a change. This is um, the Nine of Swords is when you got a lot of worry about something that's dying, but you got to let it go. And whatever that is, it could be, um, I don't know, but you have a brand new start here. So something has to go before something can come in. That new person. What is the uh, Nine of Swords and the uh, Death card? Six of Pentacles. Something or someone that shared. Yes, yeah, someone that was dishonest with you and your experience has taught you a lesson about soulmates. And you either had to let that go or you're going to let it go in September. This is stealth and longevity. This is what will happen when you finally do let go of whatever that is. Because this soulmate's trying to, it's going to take wisdom and to settle into your love, your new love. Could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, doesn't have to be. Tell me. You're settling into your own heart. Oh, watch out though. You may be extremely shrewd. But there is someone who's still dishonest in your energy field. Who is that? Somebody you ended it with. You, you, you had to. Well, here's what I'm getting. Somebody almost didn't end it, but they should end it, but they didn't. And because the door is still open, this person can come in and still harass you, which is why they're in the Nine of Swords. They still want to harass you. So you have to do what? Be strong. Hold a strong guard and shut the door permanently. Something's coming for you. Um, a message, a download, a blessing from God. Um, the secret, how to heal yourself and how to move forward in September and enjoy yourself and enjoy this new love that's coming in for you because this new love will be loyal. This is a ten of, ten of cups and it looks like a cancer for some of you. Wow. Well, let's find out a little more what's going down in September for you guys. Show me. Show me the Capricorn energy in the month of September predominantly. I'll bring you some angelic messages too. And thank you so much for your love and support. <clears throat> for those of you who are moved enough, please, if you, are, if you would like to, you're welcome to make a donation. It allows me to buy candles and cards and things that I can use in this <clears throat> encouraging encouraging practice see all the candles and incense make me clear my throat so sorry about that soulmate energy for Capricorn let's talk about that Capricorn how are they showing up please spirit the two of swords you've got someone you're not talking to you have someone um, maybe blocked let's find out Capricorn okay and what is the challenge about that? What is the challenge with that? You're not going to wait. You're not going to juggle anybody. You're not at all. You made a choice. You're not juggling anybody. That's your choice. Okay. That's what I hear. Let me know if it relates. Leave me a comment and go, John Wright. Yeah. Yeah. Spirit is talking today. Yeah. Because you already know inside what's the right thing to do. You're high priestess right now. Many of you are very, very educated spiritually. And therefore, you're not going to make the same mistake twice. You're going to keep some things to yourself. And you know things that you're not talking about. Yes. And Spirit says, guard yourself carefully right now because you're very, very intuitive and psychic at this time. And... Um, if you keep a door open with somebody that shouldn't be there, you won't get what God has planned for you, which is somebody who will actually pour into you the Six of Pentacles and give you reciprocity for all your hard work and love. What else? This is the Hierophant. This is the Most High God working. Could be a Taurus. And that's somebody's faith, right? Tell me who this Taurus is to Capricorn or who this person is. Could be family as well. Who is this person? Four of Swords. Mindful, prayerful, kind. There might be your wish fulfillment. This is the Ten of Cups. This is a new love. Oh, I got chills. 
oh my God, and the Wheel of Fortune. Lord, 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 what Capricorn. If this is you, you might want to uh, get a, your own personal reading from me about this because I'm getting chills on my elbows and knees and that's only when the Holy Spirit is working with me so I can tell there's something special happening. Seven of Cups. So they're making wishes and they're, they're, um, they're at the base of the Tree of Life and they're wishing for uh, what? They're wishing for an ending to have to go through, a transformation to happen. Eight of Wands. They're sending, oh, they're sending energy towards you, Capricorn, from wherever they are. Eight of Pentacles. They definitely want to put the work in. This is true love. This is somebody who will put Capricorn. They will actually work with you and not work against you, okay? Yep, somebody's emperor, somebody's power player, somebody's divine masculine. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. And the world card's on the bottom, which represents finalizing something and finally getting through the timeline and starting a whole new progression into a whole new journey for yourself in September and leaving the Ten of Swords behind, closing the chapter find out finally, and um, finally making that choice and moving forward. Yeah, that's beautiful. Now, each one of you are gonna attract somebody different, um, and that's why you would wanna double check your own personal reading. Your higher thought is how you're getting ahead. Higher thought, thinking, looking up, releasing, letting all the ne ne negative go, the things you can't control go. Spending time in community where you'll feel really, really good about your life. You feel excited to be back alive again. You're starting to get illuminations on your journey path and your well-being. And Archangel Michael says, let it go. The situation is no longer serving you. Allow Michael, the Archangel, to sever your energetic connections to the past so you can embrace the future Ask Archangel Michael if Capricorns are needing to do this. They've been, they're not bound to something. Teach them the art of release. Cut the cords to an uh, old relationship so a new one can find them. And open up the door of love and romance to them in their soul and in their heart. What do we have for romance? Playfulness. This is what they want you to feel and experience and love, Capricorn. And yes, honey, this could be the one. Holy mackerel, soulmate. Oh my God, that was beautiful. That was an honor to read that for you. I didn't have to go way far into the energy to tell you that. This is someone intelligent. This is a thinking person. Yep, and they bring with them celebration, joyful abundance, and light. You've got a blessing coming. Is it time? Yes. So just breathe, Archangel Raphael says. Call on me if you need help. I take several deep breaths and get busy spreading your wings. Capricorn, this is beautiful, who protects and guides. Have faith in yourself. Have faith in love. Have faith that God has heard your prayers. Your dharma is unfolding, so things are starting to get better for you in September, provided you let go finally and let Hilarion do the healing. The Archangel Raphael and Hilarion come in and heal your precious heart. This is what I have for you. I thank you so much for checking in. If you need a personal reading, I am available. Okay. And I've done over 3,000 personal love readings, all different kind, and career readings as well. Encouragement, enlightenment, confirmation, synchronicities. That is my motto. Check in if you need it. I love you. Namaste.